We have the Seattle Seahawks. They are traveling to Carolina to play the Panthers. The Panthers were the top overall seed in the NFC. They were the best overall team throughout the regular season of 15-1. Seattle comes in after getting that stay of execution against the Minnesota Vikings on that missed field goal. Uh, we do want to make a note on that missed field goal, by the way. A lot of people are giving Blair Walsh a hard time about uh, hooking it. And obviously, 27-minute field goal you'd like to make, but the holder could have gotten those laces out as well. Just wanted to make that quick note. All right, injuries for the visiting Seahawks. Both probable, Luke Wilson, the tight end, Marshawn Lynch, who has not played in about two months now, is also probable. He's the running back. For the Panthers, Charles Tillman, their cornerback, is still on injury reserve. He will not play. Fozzie Whitaker, the running back, is out. Ted Ginn Jr., the wide receiver, is questionable. Now, um, as much as I like Cam Newton, I like Russell Wilson just a little more, and I think the Seahawks are the team that's going to win the championship this year. Um, you know, they have certainly been through the trials and tribulations before. They know what it takes. And I just think that this team has a little or had exactly what they needed uh, as an underdog coming in. You know, this team was riding high off two years, one Super Bowl, going to the Super Bowl the next year. And I think when they were four and five and Russell Wilson, you know, was saying it, that's when this team realized that their back's against the wall and they need to come out and prove themselves. And that's what they're doing. And that's why I think they're going to win the Super Bowl. And obviously for them to win the Super Bowl, they have to win this game. Um, Carolina is not going to scare you downfield with their threats anyway. So the Legion of Boom, and for those of you who don't know what the Legion of Boom is, that's the Seattle Seahawks secondary. They're going to be shutting down Carolina regardless of what happens, and they're really going to focus in on Cam Newton. Look for Bobby Wagner to be spying him all game. Bobby Wagner is the linebacker for the Seattle Seahawks. He will be spying Cam Newton, and they're going to keep Cam Newton in check, and he's going to struggle. Uh, Carolina, I think the 15-1 was a bit of a mirage. You look at a team like the 15 and one Minnesota Vikings of 1998. Uh, Carolina played a very easy schedule. I don't see many game breakers outside of Cam Newton. Yes, their defense is good, but their best defensive player is probably Josh Norman. Yes, Luke Keekley is a very good one, and look for him to be spying Russell Wilson. But Josh Norman is in the secondary, but um, Russell Wilson will find ways to beat you regardless. So I like the Seattle Seahawks in this game. I'd like it to be 27-17. to 17. I think they're really going to stifle Carolina, and this is going to be the surprise game where they really handle the Panthers in this weekend's game. All right, and then the last up, we have the Pittsburgh Steelers. They are traveling to Denver to play the Broncos. The Broncos were the top overall team. You want to talk about another, uh, not so much a stay of execution uh, because Pittsburgh was not in those that much of a dire straits, but they're another team like uh, Seattle that got away with one last week. So, hey, you play on. You play until you can't play no more. All right, the injuries for the Steelers. Antonio Brown, wide receiver, is out. D'Angelo Williams, running back, is out. Ben Roethlisberger, quarterback, questionable. For the Broncos, DeMarcus Ware, tight end, is probable. Or not tight end, defensive end, is probable. Brock Osweiler, quarterback, is questionable. But, of course, regardless, Peyton Manning is going to get the start. It's already been uh, stated by Gary Kubiak that Peyton Manning is the starter for this game. Um, obviously, the injuries are going to play a big factor in this game. Antonio Brown is out. Uh, Pittsburgh does have some pretty good receivers in Marcus Wheaton and Martavius Bryant. Let's see how much of the slack they can pick up. There's no D'Angelo Williams, so that means a guy like Jordan Tomlin is going to have to step up in this game. And uh, Fitzgerald Toussaint, the two guys, the unknown running backs, so they're both going to have to play very well for Pittsburgh. Ben Roethlisberger has to go. If the Steelers want any hope of winning this game, I expect him to go. I would expect if Ben Roethlisberger had a fractured neck, he'd probably be playing in this game. So certainly a separated shoulder is not going to hinder him too much. Uh, very interesting game here. Pittsburgh is a good team when they're playing well. Denver, you're going to wonder about what's uh, or how this is going to go with Peyton Manning coming back in the lineup. It was a Gary Kubiak, you know. Uh, was in a tough situation. He was damned if he did, damned if he did not in this situation, uh, benching Peyton Manning or going back to Peyton Manning. So it's really going to be a tough one, and I don't know where to go with this game because I don't know how healthy Ben Roethlisberger is going to be, and I don't know what to expect from Peyton Manning as well. All things being equal, I'm going to go with the Denver Broncos because they are the better team. They have the better defense. They've been more consistent all year, and I expect Von Miller to be – uh, giving fits to Ben Roethlisberger, and should, by some miracle, Ben Roethlisberger not play, he'll be giving fits to Landry Jones in this game. That's why I'm going to pick the Denver Broncos again. Um, injuries will play a big factor in this game, and don't be surprised if Pittsburgh wins this game and Peyton Manning comes out 
and does not play well. But we're taking the Broncos as of right now. I'd like the score. It will be low scoring. I like it to be 21 to 16, and Pittsburgh struggles to find the end zone, and it's going to do them in, and their season ends in Denver.